Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Annie Faye. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. So about a month ago, I posted a video showing you guys everything I got during the Sephora sale and I've been meaning to do a little like first impressions video with you guys ever since. But I also had another makeup order from ColourPop coming in and I wanted to do a video testing all of that out together. Um, I just had a few complications with the ColourPop order um, and it just took a really long time, but I finally have everything. I'm actually so excited to try these. Like I've been waiting forever. So let's get into it. I've already prepped with some moisturizer, lip balm, and eye cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime, and what I've got for primer is the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. I really love the Poreless Putty Primer, so I'm hoping this is just as good. This is what that looks like. Um, can you guys see there's like little reflective bits? I hope it doesn't look glittery because I don't want that at all. Okay, yeah, it's definitely giving my skin such a glow. Do you guys see that? I wonder if this is pore filling as well because I don't know if I should use a pore filling primer or not. I know I'm already like glowing and looking very radiant, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the Hollywood Flawless Filter as well just because I bought this during the Sephora sale and I do wanna comment on how much I love it. So I just like to apply it here, here. I mean, basically everywhere. And I'm really going to be glowing after this. I'm just going to use a dense flat brush to buff that out. This one is from Morphe, but it doesn't have an exact name because I got it in a set. So I'm just going to link the set for you guys down below. Okay, I'm looking super radiant. Okay, next up I picked up the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. Um, this wasn't radiant enough, so I had to go ahead and pick this up. Oh, by the way, this is in the shade three, in case you were wondering. And this is in the shade Golden Vanilla 45. Obviously I couldn't like swatch it, so I really hope I picked up the right color. I only got one. Um, so we're gonna have to make this work. Okay, now it matches my fake tan pretty well. I did a good job. This is lighter coverage, but I'm hoping I can make it work um, because I really wanted something lightweight for the summer. And I've seen a bunch of people use this and say it's amazing and really lightweight. Honestly, in terms of coverage right now, it's not too bad. Like considering how many blemishes I have that need to be covered, I'm really, like I'm pretty impressed. And of course it looks beautiful. I really cannot get over how radiant my skin looks right now. I do still have a lot of blemishes here that need more coverage and also this pimple here. I am just gonna let the first layer dry down a little bit before trying to build it up. Okay, I feel like the first layer has dried down enough. I'm just actually going to pick up some more product on a sponge and press that into the skin. And I'm just using a sponge so that I don't like move around the layer of foundation underneath. I feel like a brush really kind of like moves everything. Okay, I think I have the coverage looking decent. Obviously it's not perfect, but I'm just going to use some concealer later on to kind of fix that. Um, but before I do concealer, I also want to talk about the Becca under eye corrector. So I picked up light medium and I have used it a couple of times, but again, I just want to use it and show you guys. Um, I'm just going to apply it underneath one eye and then leave the other eye without it so we can see at the end of my full face how much of a difference it makes. And I just like to warm up the product with my ring finger and then pat it underneath my eye. Okay, so I can definitely see a difference in my mirror between this eye and this eye. Um, this one is so much brighter. I hope the camera's picking it up, but it looks amazing. I don't have a new concealer to try out, so I'm just going to be using my favorite concealer, which is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer in the shade Sepia. And I'm just hitting the usual spots, but I'm bringing it down a little bit more under my eyes just because I have a lot of redness there right now. So I just wanna brighten the area. And I'm just using my beauty sponge to blend everything out. Okay, so how do we feel about the under eye? Do we feel like this one's a little bit brighter? 
When I look in the mirror, it does look brighter. Let me know what you guys think. For contour, I'm using the Patrick Ta Major Sculpt Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. This is in the shade She Sculpted, which is the medium shade. The top is the cream and the bottom is the powder. Picking up the cream contour with the Morphe M523. And I'm just patting that into my skin. The shade is so perfect for contour and it blends out beautifully. I think I definitely applied too much product to this side. Um, first time, don't drag me, but I'm just going to work and blend it out. Other than that though, like I've gotta say, it looks really pretty, like on this side. Look at that. I'm gonna do a little bit on my forehead and then my jawline a little bit with whatever's left over. Picking up a Morphe E27 with the cream contour. And I'm basically just applying most of the product on the tip of my nose and then blending that up the bridge and into my eyebrow. You guys, that blended really beautifully and I think it looks really good. I'm actually going to pick up some more and just apply that in my crease. And I'm just connecting my nose contour to this like crease contour. So I still haven't used this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. So I'm gonna use one under my eyes and anywhere I want to highlight and brighten. And then I'm just gonna use two on the rest of my face. I'm just picking up a Morphe brush. Again, this one is unnamed, but I'll link the set. And I'm picking up the lighter shade, which looks like this. And I'm just going to and I'm just going to apply that under my eyes. I'm also going to apply some here where I mentioned I wanted to brighten a little bit earlier. Now I'm going to take this shade here and a Morphe, nope, same thing, unnamed, same set. And I'm going to press that into my skin. Oh, beautiful, these. Please don't be cracked. Oh my God, if it's cracked. Oh my God, okay, no, she's safe. My heart's going pitta patta, pitta patta. I feel sick like I could throw up. Um, Don't worry, I didn't forget about this. We're gonna be doing that now. I'm actually just going to pick up a Morphe E4 and the powder contour. Gorgeous. That looks beautiful. Same thing with the nose. Okay, I really, really like this. This is my new go-to contour. I think I'm obsessed with this. For blush, I realize I already powdered, so I hope what I'm about to do is not a mistake, but I have two blushes to try out. The first is the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Bora Bora, and the second is the ColourPop Blush Stick in the shade Splash. So this one is just like very, very pink, and this one's more of a coral color. Those are the colors. I'm gonna do this one here, this one here, and we'll see which one we prefer. For the e.l.f., it says to use a brush or your fingers. I'm just going to use this brush. Look at that. Mmm. Okay, um, let me gather my thoughts and opinions really quickly. I really like the color. I'm just worried that maybe applying it with a brush was a mistake. I'm scared that it's like moving around the product underneath because I'm seeing my blemishes now become exposed. So I'm just gonna maybe try it with my finger. Not like I need any more product, but you know. Okay, verdict is that I think the color is beautiful and I think it blends really easily. Um, I just think I made a mistake going in with this brush. I should have just went in with my fingers right away. But now we know for next time, we can learn, we can improve. Should I put on a little bit more? Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Do I just apply this straight on my face? Let me see what the consistency is like. I'm scared that if I apply this directly on my face, it's going to like smear the product I have on underneath. Should I take a risk? I'm not really doing anything today. Okay, I'm just like kind of patting it on. I'm not really dragging, I'm just patting. That should help. 
I like it because it gives you a lot of control over where you put the product, so that's good. Again, I feel like it's making my blemishes just pop out, but the finish is beautiful and it's very radiant and it's very easy to blend. I just wish I had nice skin. I'm actually going to fill in my eyebrows and then I'll be back. Okay, brows are on. I'm actually just gonna set my face really quickly using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, my favorites. I'm just gonna let that dry. Okay, now from ColourPop, I got this freckle pen. I'm so excited to try it. I've been wanting to do like faux freckles for a long time, so I hope this looks cute. So I got the shade Soft Brown, um, and my understanding is that you just start to dot it on your face wherever you want freckles. Okay, I got Soft Brown. It's looking a little dark. That's okay. Um, we'll figure that out. Should I try to strategically place it over this pimple? God, that's so uncomfortable. Ow. A little bit dark, so I'm just going to go over it with my beauty blender or sponge. Um, I feel like with a name like Soft Brown, it's not the softest. It's definitely a little dark. Um, you know what? Let me go over it with the powder. Maybe that will help. Oh, by the way, guys, for my next video, I wanted to do a little like Q&A, get ready with me. Um, and I've asked you guys on Instagram to submit some questions. Um, if you don't follow me, you should, but um, you can feel free to leave any questions in the comment section. I'm going to be using those as well because I know not everybody follows me on Instagram. Um, do I love this? No, I really, I don't. Maybe I'm using it wrong. Maybe I just need to figure it out a little bit better. Um, I'm just going to move on to probably my favorite part of this video, and that is the ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette. First of all, I love the packaging. This material is like so nice. It's like, it's like paper, but it's very like velvety. Um, and then these are the colors. Absolutely stunning. Give me one second. <gasps> okay, I never use color, but like, come on, this is amazing. So my original idea was kind of to do like, you guys know like the Dua Lipa, like Grammys look. Um, so I kind of wanted to do something like that. But now that I'm looking at the shades again, I'm realizing there's not really like a perfect um, purple glitter to do that. So, you know what? Let me swatch some of the colors first. Um, I really want to swatch, bleh. I really want to swatch Kaleidoscope. It's this one here. Oh, that's a chunky glitter. That's feeling chunky. I mean, it looks chunky. I should have known. Okay, that's really pretty though. God, I really hate these freckles. Oh, oh, they're terrible. I really don't even know how to make it better. Like, I, I, I don't. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and attempt this blue look. Um, I'm just going to powder my eyelids. With a Morphe M441, I'm picking up Take It Easy, and this is going to be my transition color. It is very pigmented though for like the shade of blue that it is and like the surface I'm working on. Um, like the fact that it's not even like a light base. I'm very impressed. I am. Now I'm going to take a Morphe M506 in the shade Icon. That is electric. And I'm just working that in the outer corner and bringing it into my crease. Now that I've packed that on, I'm just picking up Take It Easy on that same brush from earlier and blending that out. I'm just picking up a little bit more of Iconic and just working that out here in this outer V. These colors are stunning. Like I'm really, really impressed with the quality of the pigments. And this palette was like $32. I'm very impressed. I've also purchased a little ColourPop um, color sticks thing. Hold on, what's the name? Fave Things. So this is what that looks like. And I'm just going to put that on my lid and kind of use this as a base. I just really want to make sure that the glitter sticks. I'm just going to blend that out with a Morphe M421. And now I'm picking up Kaleidoscope with my finger and I'm going to pat that on. There is a surprisingly 
small amount of fallout. Like I see like two pieces of glitter here and that is it. I'm just picking up Iconic again and I'm going to pat that out here. Kind of deepen that up just a little bit. Okay, that is literally beautiful. Um, I'm just gonna do this eye and I will be right back. Um, for this eye though, I wanted to use something different to apply the glitter. So this is the Inglot Duraline. You can use it as a glitter glue from what I hear. So I'm gonna be testing that out today. I'm just going to place that down on my lid. It's very like oily. Okay, picking up Kaleidoscope on my finger again. I've gotta say, I am pretty surprised at how well the glitter is sticking considering the fact that it's like an oily texture. The eyes are looking good. I think for the bottom though, I wanna maybe spice it up and do like a purple or something. So I'm actually going to go in with Nouveau for the lower lash line and let's see how that looks. And I'm just going to take Majestic and put that out on the outer corner. It's just a little bit darker. I just want to darken it up a little. You guys, this palette is insane. I am so impressed. Um, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing me do like a color series or like I could just do like five different colored looks in one video. Yeah, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that. That could be kind of fun for me since I never do colored looks. I think that would be a lot of fun. I also picked up one of ColourPop's um, cream gel liners. This is in the shade... Juniper. It doesn't really go with this look, but I'm just going to use it anyway because I want to let you guys know what I think. So I'm just applying that on my waterline. And I'm also going to use it to do a little inner corner flick. I thought it would be a little bit darker on my waterline. It's coming out kind of like light, but I do like the color on the inner corner. I just think maybe my waterline is a little bit too watery for this. So I'm just going to finish this eye and then I will be back. Hi guys, I'm back just for the sake of saving time. I also popped on some lashes. These are just from Amazon. I'm gonna be linking them down below. Super affordable, one of my favorite pairs of lashes ever. What I wanna do is kind of fix up the blush and the freckles. So I'm just going to pick up some blush. This is the Milani Luminoso blush and I'm picking that up on a Morphe E4. And I'm just going over um, where I applied the cream blushes earlier. I'm also gonna put some on my nose because I feel like that looks cute with the freckles. Now to fix the freckles, um, I'm just going to be picking up my Natasha Denona gold palette and the shade Aria, which is this color here. And I'm just using a Morphe M217 to dot some freckles on. I already like this color so much more. Now for lips, I have a new-ish lipstick and like lip oil, but I don't have a new liner, so I'm just going to go in with the KKW Nude 1.5 liner, and I'm just overlining my lips as usual. So you might remember my Sephora haul. I picked up the um, Charlotte Tilbury KKW lipstick and I've been using this like ever since. It is so, so pretty. Let me just show you guys. Like how pretty is that? I think this color combo is stunning. I actually think it looks really good with the blue too. And then for lips, I have the ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil. This is in the shade Truth Bomb. Okay, yeah, no, that looks so good. It feels really nice on the lips as well. This look is kind of coming together, you guys. I feel like, okay, I don't know why I said kind of coming together, like I'm literally done, but it looks really good. Um, I do wanna start incorporating more color into my makeup. Not, maybe not like this, this is a little intense, but like little pops of color here and there. So I'm really excited to do that because I actually really love how this turned out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know there were a few um, mishaps along the way, but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out overall. Yeah, like I said, if you have any questions for my get ready with me Q&A, please leave them down below. If you wanna comment anything else, also let me know. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. If you liked this vibe, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.